Hey guys, welcome back to You Rediscover Southstone. There is a lot I want to do today. Um, I'm coming hot off a 9-3 arena run. Um, and we've got this quest, which I don't think I've seen yet. Win five tavern brawls. And you know what? There's a tavern brawl on today. Ends in 17 hours. We've got to get five wins in 17 hours. Um, I'll probably only do a few today, and then I'll, I'll save the quest for a, a couple of more days until a new tavern brawl comes out. Card crash at the crossroads. You collide with another hero when your decks are mixed up. Pick another hero at the start of the game. Your deck will be a random combination of the two classes. So I alluded to this in my previous video, but they may have gone through and made um, decks for every possible combination. I think it's more likely that it'll just be random cards, like maybe like 15 random class cards, 15 random neutral cards. You know, we'll, we'll pick a good capsule mid-range kind of deck. I imagine this is going to be kind of like a slightly slower, shittier arena. But I don't know. Maybe it might be 15 class cards from Druid and 15 class cards from, I don't know, Rogue or something. Assuming that anyone's actually playing. <laughs> I should probably uh, mention that they might not be. Yeah, okay. It's pretty rare for there to be a big matchmaking queue in this game. Okay, so there's neutral cards as well. Do I keep Murloc Raider? I don't know anything about this deck, of course, so I feel like I should keep just a reasonable one drop. All Druid cards so far. Oh, okay. That's interesting. Druid Rogue, I think, is probably going to turn out to be best. All right. I can dig it. Oh, so we had 15 cards straight away, and we had 20 cards straight away, and he'll have another 10 from another class. Cool. All right. Seems fun. Okay. <laughs> Do I hero power that or rock that? I think I hero power it. I have also gone, because this is going to be a couple of tavern brawls and then some constructed. I've taken a little bit of time and I've gone through and, and come up with a couple of interesting decks which I think could, could work to my playstyle and, and allow me to ladder well. Rather than doing it on camera with a bit of a time pressure and, or like spending 20 minutes at the very start of the video just making decks, I decided to go through it in advance. I didn't talk much about that turn because it played itself, to be honest. What do I play next turn? Hero power. Pretty obviously, nothing else to play yet. So I think if it, if I'm thinking about this correctly, I've got 10 random rogue cards in this deck. So it's probably like 10 druid cards, 10 neutral cards, and then 10 rogue cards. Not good. Another nourish, dude. I've got nothing. All right. <laughs> Next turn is probably Druid of the Claw. But if I draw a three drop, I'm likely to hero power and play the three. Oh, that's awful. I hate it. <laughs> I just hate it. Oh, wow. What a fantastic rogue card. Right. Yep, that's the rogue card we wanted. Didn't want backstab or eviscerate or defiance ringleader or SI7 agent. None of that shit. We want sinister strike. All right. So unless I've got any silence in my deck, it's... Wow, okay. Turns out I had Mimiron's head. So unless I've got any silence in my deck, I just need to accept that he's always going to have a 1-1 one, one out. And that's okay. What are you doing? 
I mean, that's good, but that's a really nice card art. <laughs> Alright, another Druid of the Claw. Archmage? Archmage is fine. Nourish will be used to draw cards later on, I'm not using it for the Mana Crystals yet. Wow, I feel like Nourish has just ridiculous synergy with, uh, what's the Druid card that, the new Druid Legendary that makes your choose one cards have both effects? I can't remember. It's not a character I'd heard of before. I feel it'd be awesome with that. And Starfall, actually. Not sure how Druid of the Claw works, how much it's just a 4-6 taunt. I should be paying attention to what's, what's actually happening in the game. He hit me! How did he hit me? Oh, Argent Lance. Of course, he's a paladin. Oh dear. Oh god, Cenarius. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I mean... Sure. It's not really any point killing the Dreadsteed. It just comes back. <laughs> just keeps coming back. It's, it's ridiculous. I don't even think it's that good. I mean, against aggro it's too slow, and against control it doesn't do enough to be worth the card slot. It's quite a cool idea for a card though. Okay. Yeah. So I just nourish. <laughs> There's nothing else I can do there, really. And hero power. Blade of Cthune. Destroy minion, add its attack and health to Cthune's. Okay, that's not going to happen. It's kind of a cool card, though. It's actually... You know, 4-4 four, four destroy minion for 9? Alright, it's not good, but it's certainly not the worst card ever. It's worse than BGH. Obviously. Nothing scares me. Except mice. Honestly, uh, well that's scary. But um the Dreadsteed having Divine Shield doesn't really scare me. So I'll just kill that. <laughs> yeah, the Dreadsteed having a Divine Shield is pretty much meaningless. Which I will lampshade by being a dick. Scenarios could be fun. Oh, <laughs> okay. Well, that was egg on my face. That just gets backstabbed, though. It's not really a huge problem. Hmm. Yeah, I gotta just kill it. Do I Sinister Strike? Kinda want Sinister Strike to be the last. Last card I play. Yeah, I'll, I'll play Scenarius. And Shadow Step Scenarius might actually be very good. Uh, it's not. I'm glad we sorted that out. <laughs> okay. I was seven Murlocs from either side that died this game. That makes some sense. That's some Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles shit. Anything can happen. Oh, shit, I'm winning. 
I didn't notice. Alright. I guess I play Dragon Hawk Rider. It's not particularly meaningful. And I will nourish. I will nourish. I should have done it first, though. Could draw Innovate. Wouldn't actually do anything. Another Blade of Cthulhu. Looks kind of okay in a Cthulhu deck. This isn't a Cthulhu deck, though. Alright. Destroy your weapon and deal its damage to all enemy minions. So it's not um, anything to do with your hero's attack value. Do I have any death rattles? No, not really. Alright. I'm just going to put everything on the board. Because I've got Sinister Strike, <laughs> that's really the only reason I'm doing it. I think we're going to go and do some Constructed after this. I've been wanting to do Constructed for ages. And I've come up with a couple of decks which I think could be interesting, so... So, yeah. Okay. Let's hope I can take my uh, my good Arena Luck into, into Constructed. Maybe I'll just keep that quest and do... Uh, you like one tavern brawl a week. I always think they're going to be more fun than they are. Yeah. Nothing great there. Cool. So. I have come up with an Evolution Shaman deck, which is something I wanted to try since I saw this card existed. Um, I don't know if it's particularly good. I started with the basic um, Evolution deck that it suggested for me and took out a couple of cards I didn't have or didn't want. And putting cards that I think are better, like I put Azia Drake in, um, uh, Lightning Storm instead of Elemental Destruction. I uh, put it in Ancestral Knowledge. So there's there's a lot of overload. Um, I went and went back and did uh, the class challenge in either the Grand, not the Grand Tournament, one of the adventures to get Lava Shock. So yeah, was, there's a lot of cards here I've never played with before, like Evolve and Master of Evolution, Thing from Below. Yeah, let's do it. Oh, and also... A Reno Paladin deck, which I'm really not sure about, but you know, we'll try it. <laughs> we'll try it. That one, I just I just came up with that any assistance, so it's probably crap, but it's how you meant to do it, man. You can't go taking decks from other people. I mean, you can. <laughs> also, I don't play Shaman. I have no idea if this deck is viable. I don't know if Evolve Shaman is a thing. Um, but I, I'm more than happy to try it out. And we're at a low rank, so we're in no danger of, of slipping back down the ladder. Oh, I fudging hate Paladins, guys. Do I keep Rockbiter? Against what? Good question. Oh, I've got Totem Golem, that's good. I've got to remember that the curve for this deck is higher than it looks. Because of all the overload. It looks like, if you look at the curve, it looks like a, a very aggressive mid-range deck. But it's not. And in fact, I'm drawing all my high-cast cards at the moment. So I'm on two next turn. I can hero power. Oh, that's fine. This kills your dudes, dude.
I'm not sure about Thorasan. That wasn't one that was suggested by the game. That was uh, one that I put in off my own bat. Same with Azir Drake. Um, I'm not 100% sure about them. Okay. I'm not too upset about that. That's fine. Yep, Fire Guard Destroyer. Good. 5 6 for sort of 5. So I'm on 4 again next turn, so that's another Fire Guard Destroyer. Shame I didn't get to play the Tunnel Trog first. That is still okay. Let's do it again. That's basically like deal two damage for one at this point, which is okay. Not amazing. Yeah, he does. Fire Elemental hasn't got an overload, has it? No, it's really good. What are all these humilities coming out, man? So I think I have to play Lava Shock as your Drake here. Yeah. That is not how that works. Never mind. I meant to do that. I could maybe have made better use of the coin earlier, actually. Never mind. Yeah, I completely misunderstood how Lava Shock worked. I don't think I even misunderstood it. I think I just didn't count very well. Oh yeah, I summoned totems for this dude. Luckily, I don't want to play him just yet. You want to play Tunnel Trog? Tunnel Trog Thorosan? Yes, I think I do. Okay, so this hand is really scary for him. Sting from below a taunt. Yeah, 5-5 five, five, taunt. Hmm. Next turn, honestly, could be anything in this hand. It's all good. Okay, it's gonna be Hex. Hit my face. Oh, that's a shame. Never mind. Azure Drake? I'll take an Azure Drake. Hopefully, if Evolve goes off on this, it won't turn into, for example, a 3-drop instead of a 2-drop. It'll turn it into a 7-drop instead of a 6-drop. Uh, maybe I should have saved Hex? No, I don't think so. Okay. Do I... Yeah, I think I have to pop that with my Trog. Then Fire Elemental. Oh no, then Rock Biter. Oh, huh, yeah, okay. Rock Biter. I know it dies, but it also hits him in the face and protects my Fire Elemental. Maybe I should have Totem before playing that. This is 0 2 for 1, right? Yeah, okay, so it'll evolve, we'll turn it into a 2 drop. Hmm. hmm. It's a nice car pack. I think the car packs are getting better. They were always good, but I think they're uh, improving a lot.
That is a strange card to have right here. Alright, do I go for the Evolve? Three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah. But I do that first. Nice. Okay. All of those cards are boring, and I hate them. Let's draw a card. All right. So you target the minion now. It's a 4-5 for 4. I thought it was a 4-4 four, four for 4 for some reason. 4-4 four, four for 4. So that would probably go on the Thrall here. Like yeah. Fire? Oh, man. Oh, I got destroyed hard. Oh, I got destroyed so hard. It's going to be tough. <laughs> it's going to be tough. Hey, give me a minute. But that's a good play. Huh. Okay. That's why you like this card, I think. 4-5 for 4, turn a 2-1 into a 7-8. Honestly, you, you'd pay... Eight or nine mana for that every time. Obviously, this is the best case scenario. Or close to it. Nice. Yeah, he didn't have a way of dealing with that that he wanted to take. Oh, dude. What's that? Oh, that's so cool. <laughs> oh man, that's so cool. I, I couldn't have asked for anything more than Ragnaros Light Lord. I will kill it though. Yeah, alright. Yeah, I guess. It's cool though, it's it's I like that. That's that's really made me pleased. <laughs> I'm gushing a little bit. It's really awesome, though. Welcome to the grand oh, so many legendaries. What is this pay-to-win shit? Oh, I couldn't say that with a straight face. Rockbiter is good against it, though. Um, I think I just die if I go down to eight here. Unfortunately. Man, do you remember when this totem healed your hero as well? That shit was dope. I think I'm done for. Oh, Do I have Justicar True Heart? I think I do have Justicar True Heart. Not in this deck, um, just in my personal collection. Justicar True Heart's so good. I wouldn't put it in Shaman. I think it's slightly weaker in Shaman. Instead of summoning like two random totems, which would be insane, it just lets you choose which totem you get. So I don't think it's as good. But I might put it in my Reno Paladin deck, which I'm going to play soon. I'll do a couple more games with this, then I'll switch to Reno Paladin, I think. Alright, do or die. I need three good two drops. You know what? They are three good two drops. Just don't happen to be good enough. GG, my friend. GG. Oh, please kill the Armorsmith first as BM and leave yourself with that lethal. Nope. <laughs> Fine. It would take some real work for him to do that anyway. Yeah, I don't think Justicar True Heart belongs in this deck. There are many other cards that I'll put in this deck before I put Justicar in. Let's play again. OK, 
Okay. This could be Evolve versus Evolve, if Evolve is a thing that exists. I think I'm really looking for Tunnel Trog here and um, maybe a couple of Overload cards. Do I have Lightning Bolt in this deck? I think I do. Oh, that's not what I want to see. This is bad. This is bad. I don't think there's too much late game in this deck. I just think I've been unlucky with my mulligans on both games. And that's okay. I was seriously considering lightning uh, storming that, but now I don't have to. So I've got three next time, so it could be lightning storm again. In fact, it looks like it probably will be. Okay. Um, yeah, it is, actually. Much some a little bit uneasy about doing that. It's not great value, but I think it stops me falling behind. This is a board control deck. And if I lose board control... I'm done for. Hmm. Do I want two two drops? Yeah, I do actually. Because otherwise it, my board just dies and I lose. Uh, that could be worse. It's not great. But it could be worse. Oh, okay. But he used Fork Lightning on that, so that's not bad for me. Oh, really? Uh, if, he, if he hits me in the face. No, okay, that's fine. Fire Elemental? Fire Elemental doesn't do a lot. Um, neither does anything else here. Okay. Honestly, I'm just trying to find a constructed deck that I can play exactly like Arena. <laughs> After this, we'll switch to my, my new Reno Paladin deck, which I'm really excited about. There is one Paladin card that I really wanted to put in the deck that I decided not to craft, and that is, uh, I think it's called Forbidden Healing, which soaks up all your mana and then heals you for twice that amount. Ah, uh, that's better than Lava Shock, isn't it? I chose not to craft it because it was an epic. I also chose not to craft this because it was an epic. But maybe I should. Maybe I should. Maybe I should lightning storm that. What do I play with it? Master of Evolution just as a 4-5? Yes. Yes? No. No. <laughs> okay then. I still can't get over holes in that new Ragnaros. I can't believe I hadn't seen that before. It actually looks really good. Okay, I'm looking to Lightning Storm for three here. Wow. Oh no, I will Lightning Storm for three because I've got the spell power. Okay then. Should have played Tunnel Trog into Lightning Storm into Master Revolution. I was going to just play Azure Drake, but. No, that's okay. Alright. Yeah, I'll just play Azure Drake. Yeah, sorry, I, I can't think and talk at the same time. <laughs> so, you're going to have to become mind readers, I'm afraid. That is fine. Do I want a random six drop? Do I want to... Yeah, I've got seven. Okay. 
I think I want a random six, right? Okay, no, I want to do this. I mean, I do want a random six, but I want to do this. That's good. Okay. Wind Fury Harpy? Alright, I guess. It's not a good six. It's possibly one of the worst cards in the game. But it's a lot better than a 4-2. Next turn could be Tunnel Trog, Feral Spirit, Mana Tide, Totem. Hmm. Okay, that's nine. Yeah, if you want to hex it, that's fine by me. Okay, yeah, so Tunnel Trog, Feral Spirit. Manatide, oh, okay. Maybe not Manatide. Awesome. Yeah. <laughs> Trying to work out the best way to do that. I lose hard to Lightning Storm. Yeah, Lightning Storm is really the card I'm scared of. Or Elemental Destruction, but then he'd sacrifice his own Mana Tide. So I'd rather he did that than Lightning Storm. No Lightning Storm. Yeah, okay. <laughs> okay then. Do I Hex that? So I think I hex Manatide and play the Tascato Temek. And I will clear his board. Uh, oh yeah, I can hex Manatide and Totemic. That's fine. Great. I'm now winning. I'm just thinking, and I was just a thought, is Bloodlust good in this deck? I think probably not. It's a bit of it's a it's a classic win more card, right? It's only good when you're already winning. But I don't know, seems good. I guess I've got Evolve to fill that niche. And you know what? We should check this out. See if we can still attack with a minion after it's been evolved. You cannot, but that's okay. Wow, I've got some interesting cards here. Alright. I summon the totem, that makes things from below free. <laughs> okay, so I, I just I took the hit there and um, didn't hit him in the face because I think I've already won. And because... I, I want to know for future reference whether you can attack with an evolved minion if it could attack before being evolved. Turns out you can't, and now I know. So that's okay. Hmm. We must cleanse this shit is insane. <laughs> it's, it's really crazy. So if I hex that... Hit it with the 2-4. Okay. I've got 5, 6, and 8, 9, 10, 11, 15, 18. Not even close. That's fine. I should have done that first. What am I what do I think I'm playing out here, hey? All right. I love Shaman versus Shaman. It's awesome. That frothing berserker, though. 
GG. That was, a, that was a fun game. I enjoyed it. All right, let's uh, let's rotate the ball. Let's switch decks. 18 wins with Paladin. I just I I'm deliberately playing classes that I don't play. Let's do it. I can't even remember what's in this deck. Obviously, it's 30 different cards because it's Reno. And this is my first time playing a Reno deck. Holy shit. I'm a little bit scared. <laughs> this could be a bit of a baptism of fire. Warlock can be tricky. You know what? Let's keep competitive spirit. Except let's not do that. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna see. A, I'm probably gonna see a lot of cards over the course of this game, and and think, why the fuck did I put that in this deck? Um, I'm starting to think that with Ken, but I think Ken is probably fine. Senjin might be a weak card in this deck as well. The light protects me. I'll probably go Argent Lance. Uh... So this is gonna be quite aggressive. So I should probably take the initiative and just kill it. Oh, wow. Okay. Yeah, Blood Knight I'm not too sure about either. But if I draw it next... When Blood Knight's good, it's really fucking good. I don't actually have much Divine Shield in this deck. Oh. I forgot I'm ranked 20. How big is the possessed religion? I'm not, I'm not how big is it? What am I talking about? What is rarity? It's common. Just, uh, just. I'm kind of interested in the card art, honestly. Next turn looks like probably Senjin. Yeah, swipe. Man, it's just a, a tiny engine. Wow! You know, for all I know, this could be a Reno deck as well. Argent Squire, Corruption. These are not cards that you see in many decks. And obviously, Reno necessitates that you put in cards which otherwise wouldn't normally make the cut. Uh, I'm for Grizzly. Maybe it's maybe he's just bad. Or just new? I, I, you know, I, no, no, no. I should probably blessing of wisdom. I'm not sure it should be in the deck anyway. So. Next turn is Cairn rather than Thorasan. I'm pretty sure. Remember I made this deck like completely off my own bat without any assistance, so as to people who are either better at the game uh, or net deck a lot, there may look like it may like some really odd choices, and there probably are. Um, it'll need fine tuning over the course of several games. Keeper of Alderman, I did a I did a um, hero challenge in probably uh, what's what's it called the League of Explorers. Um, for that this morning, because I knew I wanted to put it in my deck. It looks really good. Yeah, can I think. I don't think there's much call for Thorasan yet. I think this guy should have been trying to rush me down, and he just hasn't been. Oh, okay. Two copies of Corruption. This is not a Reno deck. Or if it is, it's a bad one. Uh -huh. 
So I'm going to play a light in the darkness and then probably stand against darkness. It's going to be shift to Zerus, isn't it? I've seen this card before. It's kind of cool. Uh, obviously, the plus one, plus one probably doesn't make any difference. It, that may carry over every time it transforms. I'm not sure. But we'll soon find out. Why is he trading for me? He needs to be killing me, yeah. If he's a bad player, he might think he's winning. He does Dark Bane. Oh, so the 1-1 one, one does carry over, that's good. Uh, so I'm going to Guardian for Kings here, honestly, and just... Uh, just trade, hit him a couple of times. Just to keep myself from dying to, well, eight damage of reach. Which he may have if he's got you know, double soul fire and manages to avoid discarding the second one. Oh shit, an Eldritch Horror. That's scary. Do I Seal of Champion? Seal of Champions? I think I have to Seal of Champions, honestly. Seal of Champions... I could Seal of Champions Blessing of Kings. Hmm, not sure about that. I'll just see if ch Okay then. <laughs> I just changed my mind at the last second there. Not necessarily wrong, certainly not necessarily right. I only did that because I didn't have much of a better play. It would have been awkward to make any other play, and I probably would have floated some mana. Great. Yeah, that's... Great. So I'm going to keep Revolve the Man. I could have um, Keeper of Revolve the Man one of my guys instead. That would have had exactly the same effect. Borosan, why not? Lovely. So I should just win, right? Scary. Not quite scary enough. What does that do? GG. All right. Holy shit, two stars, guys. Nearly a legend. I forgot I had that quest. Ah, so you know what? Let's go open a pack. I need all the cards I can get. <laughs> I need all the dust I can get. Good, good, really good, really good. Yeah, these are all good cards. I like them. I like them a lot. I shall keep them. This Reno deck I don't think is very good. But, I mean, the only way it's going to get better is by playing it, working out which cards are the weak links, which cards um, could be substituted for those weak links. So that's what I'm going to do. I don't know if I'm going to do an arena tomorrow. I might just do more constructed. Uh, we'll, we'll see when the time comes. Hmm. No, no, no. Unfortunately. Maybe there isn't enough early game in this deck. It's, it's a bit too early to say. For me. Loot Hoarder, I'm not sure 
should be a thing. Maybe I should look at crafting some more um, neutral cards that I'm missing. I'm not sure what might be good, but I haven't even looked at the neutral cards. I've only looked at the class cards uh, for crafting, so... Scary. Uh, not that scary, actually. Alright. <laughs> yeah, not that scary. I don't really have anything to do next turn, though. Uh, but I'll draw two cards between now and then. That's nearly fine. Uh, it might have to be Aldor. Yeah, unfortunately. But maybe I'm playing too aggressively for this deck. Maybe I should have just waited hero powered and done true silver next turn. Chances are I true silver next turn anyway. This deck does have a lot of healing, so. Might not be a problem. So this is presumably a Cthulhu deck, which is actually, I think, good. Um, I'm considering putting BGH in this deck. I don't think there is one in this deck already, but I could probably take out um, something, maybe a Senjin for BGH, just to make sure that I don't just lose against Cthulhu because I don't have any uh, single target removal in this deck. That's something that Paladin historically has struggled with. Do I a quality flame juggler? I mean, yeah, all right. Fine, second best. Yeah, that's okay. The worst, the worst case scenario, of course, would be if flame juggler had hit his face. That would have prevented me from having a, a particularly good play. Oh, he's drawn the cards. I, th I thought for a second he was going for the mana crystals. I was like, oh shit, he wants to rush Cthulhu out. Why would he want to rush Cthulhu out? So they're like 8-8. Eight, eight. Honestly, an 8-8 eight, eight Cthulhu would still be okay. Um, but because it's a card you have to build the whole deck around, that makes it slightly weaker. Yeah, I, I should play this slowly. Try and establish a, a moderately threatening board, which is the only way you can describe this board. Try and keep my health high, so maybe use Guardian of Kings next turn. Although, if my 3 3 survives, it's likely to be Azzy Drake Hero Power. Okay. Oh, it's the swipe, guys. That's fine. <laughs> oh, innovate hero power. That is aggressive. You've basically got a moonfire in your deck the minute you do that. Uh, so, yeah, Guardian of Kings, I think. Just to keep my health high, because Cthulhu does scare me. But I think maybe I need an anti Cthulhu card in this deck. And I think maybe that card is a big game hunter. Oh, Raven Idol. That, that could be good, actually. That looks like a fun card. I've seen it before, but what is that card back? Is that like, uh, like Hearthstone's second birthday or something? Looks like a cake. Next turn, Azia Drake, see what I draw. Maybe Hero Power Competitive Spirit. Oh, scary. Scary. That is scary. Azia Drake, Seal of Champions. Yes. <laughs> Actually, yes. Hmm. 
Maybe I should lose Blood Knight for uh, Big Game Hunter or something like that. Okay, yeah. That is fine by me. You should probably use the 2-1 rather than your hero power here. I think it's close. Do you want to take seven to face? Yeah, all right. Consecration? Not quite. Thorasan? Nah. Yeah. Okay, six, eight, nine. That's my anti cthulhu card. Looks good. Just trying to work out what that's um, what that secret is. I think he's worried it might be competitive, not competitive spirit, it is competitive spirit. I think he's worried it might be Noble Sacrifice. If he runs his 4-2 into my 5-5 five, five and it's get down, he loses. Well, he doesn't necessarily lose, but he loses a lot of tempo. Yeah, he's testing for it. That's fine. I anticipated that would happen. You need to die. I am gonna... Wow, yeah, huge. Okay. <laughs> yeah, maybe I didn't think that through as well as I should have done. But Bran needs to die. Uh, because I imagine he's got Cthune that he wants to play this turn. I mean, that 415 for 4 is just insane. It's usually a 410 for 4, which is beyond ridiculous. Oh, I should have seen that swipe coming. Never mind. Sengin's okay there. Oh, Blood Knight, is Blood Knight exists. Yes, yes, I win. I don't win. Wow, Blood Knight went off and constructed. That doesn't happen. Alright. Player 1-1. One, one. Play a Wisp. And then play Cthulhu. Please. Where's that wisp Cthulhu combo, man? That is cool card art. I like it. No, you're not hearing me, man. All right. Not a problem. <laughs> I have no time cool. For games. Can Tyrion consecration, and he's got a fucking Sylvanas out, man. All right then. He's used both swipes, so his AOE is pretty low. Um, which means I may have to risk the Sylvanas taking Cairn. It would 
be one in three. I mean, she can't kill herself against Ken yet, obviously. No, it's going to clear. All right. Wow. I can't play Tyrion for obvious reasons. I could play Aldor, but then I don't have any way of getting rid of Cthune if and when it comes out, so I'll discover a minion. Am I holding a dragon? I'm not holding a dragon. I don't know which secrets I have. Oh, if only I were holding a dragon. I don't think Sylvanas would steal it. Alright. Fucking YOLO. I don't think I have any more secrets in my deck. No, I don't. Never mind. She's going to specifically steal a 7-2, uh, I guess. That's fine. You should do that. Okay. What do I want to draw now? Reno Jackson. <laughs> what do I want to draw at all times? Say it with me. Reno Jackson. No Reno Jackson. I'm starting to wonder whether it's actually in this deck. So he needs to have three damage in his hand, but he's already used both swipes. Oh, he needs to have two damage in his hand, I suppose, but he's already used both swipes. Roth obviously doesn't target the hero. If I survive this turn, I've got a really good shot. Because next turn could be Tyrion. Also, Cthulhu just kills me. Because um, next turn could be Tyrion. Although I would play Reno if I drew it. Nope, he wins. Okay, GG. I like this deck, though. Smooth. I like this deck. Um, obviously, we haven't really seen the Reno go off yet. Let's have a quick look and see if I can change some stuff around. Do I want Blood Knight? It's one of my favourite cards um, as an arena player. But this is an arena. Do I want Jeweled Scarab? I need some removal. So you know what? We will take a BGH. One BGH. I'll take up Blood Knight for it. Much as I want to keep it. All right. Well, you know what? That's going to do it for this episode. But thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time on You Rediscovers Hearthstone.